Hey everyone, I just want to say good job for week uh, four. I can't believe we're on week four, week five. Um, your doodles look really, really good. You can always um, change them and edit them. I had somebody ask me today, can I make changes to my doodle? Of, of course you can, okay? Um, oh, and I put some of them in the stream in our Google Classroom. They looked really good. I started grading them Wednesday and then Thursday. I thought, oh, I can add images in here. So I was just uploading ones that I had looked at yesterday, but they look really, really good, guys. You're doing a great job from um, doing this whole distance learning and, and everything. So let me walk you through week five. I'm trying to keep this video a little bit shorter, point out some things, um, but I am going to put some um, e oh, examples at the end of this video. Okay. So a couple things. First of all, in Google Classroom, when you're in the stream, to get to my Google Meet, I did change it because we had a uh, well, long story short. Um, but to get to my Google Meet on Tuesdays through Friday, you just click on this button. OK, if I'm not in there, you can't join. So it's a little bit different security features. And um, yeah, you just click on that. All right. Also in the stream, like I said, here were those pictures of some of your classmates doodles. Um, I just thought I would put in there. Okay, in classwork, so for week five, when you click on, oops, you'll see it like this, click on your week five directions. I have a little message for you basically saying, watch my explanation video. And when you're done with uh, week five, like you've been doing for the last two weeks, you just turn in the directions. So you'll see directions. You'll also see this video in an MP, MP4 uh, format. So anyway, you'll be able to click here um, which you'll know. And obviously, if you are watching this, you click that. See, this is <laughs> all right. So this week, you're going to add animation to your doodle. You're going to, well, you don't have to, but it'd be really cool if you could meet me in a Google session. Uh, you can um, share your screen with me and I can walk you through different animations, help you out. Uh, typically, my hours are 9 to 11 and 1 to 3, Tuesday through Friday. Thursdays are a little different because my kids schedule, I start at 11 and just go 11 to three, um, but I'm usually on very late. So any, any time, if those times don't work for you, just email me, we'll figure something out. So like I said, when you're done with week five's animation, you will click on the turn in button. Now let me, before we look at this checklist, um, I'm going to scroll down at the, on the second page here, just in case you forget, there's directions on how to get back to your your scratch project that we've been working on. Um, you can click here or here. It takes you to scratch. You log in, click on the little folder and then click see inside next to your project. OK. All right. So your checklist for this week, uh, please watch the videos that I am making for you. I have seven, I think, already uploaded. They are in Google Classroom, there to help you with different animation and give you inspiration. These are just things off the top of my head. I was like, what do most kids, you know, how do most kids animate their, um, their project? And so, okay, so it's under week five videos, how to code different animations. So I do number them, but the way they get displayed, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But Anyway, so I show you basically the first one is just an overview of how to code things in Scratch. So if you've forgotten how to find different buttons on the side um, and, and what different coding options there are, okay? This one, the second one here shows you how to move a sprite across the screen. It shows you different options to do that. Um, and adding sound, obviously, how to add sound to your project Spin a sprite, how to get it to turn clockwise, counterclockwise. Um, changing the costume on the sprite. Some of your sprites come with animations in them, and we call those costumes, and you have to code it to change the costume so it looks like it's adding animation. I'm thinking, Colton, you did a good job with this on your animated name when you had the snake going across the screen. That was really cool. Um, this one, the blinking effect one, that's kind of neat. That... Uh, the one Christmas we were doing this project and people had like Christmas lights added 
onto like a tree or in the background. It looked really cool, like a blinking effect, but any, like a, if you have a candle or anything you wanna light up it, it, and this, you can make it like slow effect or fast effect, but I explained that in the video. Speech and thought bubble, how to get your character to look like it's talking. So other ones off the top of my head, I'm going to make, and I'll have them made and posted on there by Monday evening. Um, so be patient with me as I'm making these videos. Um, I'm going to have one on how to get the backdrop to change. And I'm going to have one on, uh, oh, there's going to be a link to, I'll, I'll add it in here. So just remember there are videos from week four that are down here. Okay. In case you need this still, I'm just going to keep it in week four, but I am going to add this into week five also. But this is at CS First website, which has those tutorial videos to help you. And they have also, you know, videos to help you like get that text bubble, switch to costumes, add a backdrop, edit or draw, jumble the letters, make them move randomly, spin, chase, change a scene, dance the world, bounce, disappearing. Um, I think that's all because when you hit next, I think it goes, yeah, you don't have to do that. But these are other... Uh, videos you can watch to help you um, get the, the different code, okay? But that's in week four, and we are in week five. So please watch these because I'm taking the time to make them and upload them. It takes a long time, but uh, I just want to do my best to help you. All right, so Ms. Henry, what do you need for your animation? Basically, choose different events to use. Um, I know for your our name project, we had two events you had to use, so strive for two. And I think I'm gonna make a separate video for events maybe to explain things a little clearer, jotting that down. Um, so think about how you're using them. And um, okay, I'm losing my train of thought because there's so many things I wanna say for that. But choose your events that you're gonna use to start and stop your, that's what it was, to stop to stop your animation kind of think with the name one we had like the letters reset you want to kind of do the same thing for this um as well but choose one to two things to animate that's it at a minimum is one to two things to animate you want to do more that's great some of these projects there was like six things animated some of them only had one that the kids did for me before um at, do add a sound at least one sound and when you're done, like I said, click turn in, which will be up here on this document, okay? All right. Okay, now on to some examples. This example was done by a kid in the spring. He drew these, it was awesome. Um, I was very proud of him, but when you click on, oh, I think I have to click the flag first. Yeah, it just kind of like blinks. So he made a couple costumes for these characters. So that was the animation there. All right, this is another example a kid did in the same class on Baby Yoda. Uh, he also hand, hand drew these in the costume. I don't know what how to get the animation to go because he didn't put it in the instructions, but here's the song to that. By the way, I... I just thought it might be too confusing to you guys, but um, if you remember how we added animation or our uh, instructions once we shared our uh, name projects back in school, if you can add uh, instructions here, like what to click to get your animations to run, that would be awesome. I'm not going to make it mandatory. I just thought I would mention it. All right, this one's cool. You have Santa going across the screen. And as he goes by the letter, he's dropping presents and then the letters change into a wrapped present, which is cute. See how it has a timer on there? Most of my kids coded their game to go um, with the doodle behind the doodle. Um, I'll explain that later, but that's why there's a timer running here. This one's cute. She did National Hair Day. When I click on the can, some hairspray shoots out and has like a hairspray sound. It took this girl a long time to get cut out the background uh, <laughs> for these pictures. This one was made uh, two springs ago, National Honeybee Day. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it goes in the honey hive there, the beehive. 
Okay, one of my favorites, National French Fry Day. When you click the flag, the ketchup comes out of the bottle and splashes on the um, French fries, which is kind of cool. So how that girl did that is she was in costumes and well, I got to click on the ketchup bottle and she right clicked and hit duplicate, made a little dot, right click, duplicate, and kept doing that to make it look like ketchup is squirting out of the bottle and lands on the french fries so she can see she holy moly she's got 19 um steps there that was cute okay so i don't i don't want to keep going here and make this too much longer i just um i hope that was enough examples to show you um i encourage you to get on a video chat with me or just email me or text me i'm here for you guys um when you guys are frustrated, I get frustrated because I feel like I'm not doing enough for you. So please email me <laughs> and I will just try my best to help you out as best as I can. Okay, you guys have a great week weekend. Whenever you're listening to this, I'm thinking of you all. Hope you get to enjoy the great weather. See you guys.